OK, so let's try to graph some slightly more exotic exponential functions to get a feel for how the exponential function works and manipulating that object. So let's begin by graphing f of x equals x to the, I'm sorry, 2 to the x plus 4 power. Now how would I do that? Well, I basically see, well, actually, there's two ways of thinking about this. Let me talk about both ways. One way is to notice that, in fact, I see this is just basically 2 to the x, but then instead of x, I have x plus 4. So that's a shift in the x, which way? Add to x, go west. So it should be a shift this way. So what I could do is the following. I could take the picture. of just 2 to the x. So let me draw that in just lightly. I'll dot that in. So this is just a, this is just for us. This is actually not you know, part of the answer at all. But this is a 2 to the x. Now what I do is take that picture, and I'm going to shift it 4 units over this way. I'm going to shift it 4 units over this way. This point is 1. So where would that go? If I put in uh, x equals 0 here, I'd see 2 to the fourth. So I see something really quite large. So I'd see this. So all I did there was take this picture and shift it four units this way. So it looks like it has sort of an interesting little optical illusion, right? It looks like it's sort of wide here, and then it's less wide here. That's because you're looking at the height. Look at the distance this way. This should always be the same. It's always four units. Even over here, it's four units, four units. I took this picture and just slid it over four units. So that's one way of, of seeing the graph of this. And that's correct, and that's great. And if you like it, perfect. Another way, actually, would, to be to, would to be to use some laws of exponents here. Let me just point this out as a little side note. Get it? <laughs> side note. I'm full of them. OK, uh, and to realize that if I have 2 to a power that's a sum, I could just write that as 2 to the x times 2 to the 4. Because remember what you do. When you have the same base, we saw you add exponents. And remember the, the slow slogan with exponents, when in doubt, write it out. Think about this. I have 2 multiplied by itself x times. Then I have 2 multiplied by itself 4 times. How many 2's do I have? x plus 4. So this is really OK. Well, then you see this is just 2 to the 4th, which is 16, times 2 to the x. So then I could think about the graph in, in the following way. I take this graph and just multiply it by 16. And what does that do? It takes this point 1 and moves it up to 16. And then it takes this thing and sort of bends it up, and it bends it over. So then this is sort of now a, a um, what do we call this, a shrinking, basically, or expanding by multiplying this by 16. We see what happens that way. So that's another way of thinking about it, which is sort of worth sort of noting. But I think the easier way to think about it is just think about it as a shift in the x, four units this way. Okay. Now, what I want to take a look at now, I want to write the next question here, because I want you to see the difference. The next function I want to look at, I'll call it g, is going to be 2 to the x plus 4. And notice that is dramatically different from this. This was 2 to the power x plus 4. This is 2 to the x plus 4. So I take all this stuff and add 4 to it. So what's that going to look like? There, that's going to be a shifting of the y's, because I just take the answer I got with the x's and add 4 to everything, whereas this was a shifting of the x's. I've got to change the x by 4 and then figure out what y is. So here, I start off with this picture. And what do I do to it? I just raise it four units up, one, two, three, four. So in fact, that picture would look dramatically different. I would just take this picture and move it up four units. So that's the difference between this kind of thing and this. In fact, let me actually graph this right on the same axes. Axes. I move this up four units. This is by no means drawn to scale. I apologize. And this would be. 2 to the x plus 4, whereas the purple thing, I remind you, was <coughs> 2 to the x plus 4. So to get to, the, to get to the green, what you did was you added 4 this way everywhere. 
So took this picture and just raised it four units up. And this picture, I took it and raised it four, I moved it four units this way. So make sure you see the difference between these two functions. They're dramatically different. If I take an exp exponential and add 4 to the whole thing, that's going to be a shift upward. If I take 2 to the x plus 4, then that's going to be a shift to the left by 4. All right, one final note, C sharp, no, sorry, is what happens if I were to look at something like this? Like minus 3 to the x. Well, this is a little tricky because, for example, if I put in minus 3 squared, that's OK. I know what that means, right? That's going to be just minus 3 squared. It's going to be 9. What if I look at minus 3 to like the 1 half power? Well, that's the square root of minus 3, and that's not a real number. And as you can see, anytime I have a fractional exponent that has um, an even denominator, that will be some sort of root that I couldn't take. So in fact, this is just complete garbage as a function. So a junky function. Junky, funky. So in fact, we will never, ever look at functions that have a negative thing in here. And why? Because it won't be defined at a lot of places. It would be, it'd be a very holy function. It would be a religious function. It would be very, very holy. Because it would be all these points where you just wouldn't have things there. It would be all dip, 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 dip. So we don't even look at that. Never, never, never. Now, for those of you who might say, wait a minute. Isn't this just equal to this? Well, those people are sadly, sadly, sadly mistaken. These are not equal at all. This is minus 3 raised to the x power. This is 3 raised to the minus x power. This we will never graph. This is false. This we will never graph. This we can always graph because that's just 1 third to the x. So the only kind of bases we're allowed to have that makes sense to have are positive bases. They could be less than 1. They could be bigger than 1. But they can't be negative. All right. I'm glad I got that out of my system.